Hey everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and today we are going to discuss A-B testing. Now A-B testing is quite important for marketing. You want to find out what works best uh, for your funnels, whether it is in the landing pages or whether it is with your offers or maybe different CTA buttons, whichever you want, all right? And this can really help you uh, elevate your marketing performance, your funnel performance after you find out what is the one that people respond to the most. And the good news is now you can use A-B testing in WordPress using WP Funnels. That's right. Uh, when you create funnels with WP Funnels, whether you create landing pages, checkout pages, upsell offers, downsell offers, you can run A-B split testing for all those steps easily. All right. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how you can easily use this A-B testing features in WP Funnels actively from creating variations to distributing traffic to checking the analytics to decide what works best for you, all right? So I have my WP Funnels dashboard here and I haven't created any funnels yet, uh, but in this video, I'm gonna create a funnel and then I'm gonna show you how you can actively use A-B testing. So let's click on create your first funnel and uh, let's say I'm gonna import this template. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna import all six steps of the funnel that has been pre-built for you in WP Funnels. There you go. As you can see, the funnel has been imported. So when you create a funnel, just make sure you set up the basic configurations before you go into designing. So you have the landing, checkout, upsell, downsell. So let's say I just want to create a four step funnel. I don't need the downsell offers. So I'll just remove the conditions and the other journey is over. I just want the landing, the checkout, the upsell and the thank you. So for the checkout, I need to assign a product. I'm going to assign uh, one of my products. This is the test side. I have some sample products added and I'll save it and then I'm going to assign a product in upsell. And there you go. So now my funnel is pretty much ready uh, for the basic part. Now what I want to do is I want to do A-B testing. So first let me show you how my landing page looks like right now. So this is my landing page and I want to make some little change in the title. So this says sound supremacy at your hands. I want to try a different title and see if that works more. So if I go to my funnel dashboard here for every step, you'll see there's this icon uh, where it shows there are two versions of the page. Just click on that and it will take you to a separate window for that particular step. So this is for the landing step. You can see this is my original landing page. And now what I can do is I can click on plus I can duplicate this step completely or I can choose from a new template for a new design. That's really up to me. Let me just duplicate this one. What this will do is this is going to duplicate the whole design content into this new page. All right. What I can do is I can now edit this and make any changes. So I'm using Elementor as my page builder. Uh, so whichever page builder you're using, when you edit it, it's going to open into that page. So here, let's say I'm going to change the title into, let's say, Sound Supremacy Redefined. So let's say I just want to make that little change and uh, maybe I can change some other stuff from here. Let's say I'm going to make it center so that you know it, it looks different uh, for the button. Uh, let's say I'm going to change the color a bit. Instead of that color, let's just do the black color. Uh, maybe that. So once I'm happy with this, I can just publish this and this will be saved. Okay. So if I go back and if I preview this step now, you'll be seeing that I've made this change. Sound supremacy redefined and you can see the bottom color is changed. So now I have two versions of the landing page. Each of them has a unique uh, URL, but you don't need to worry about that. A-B testing will handle a lot of stuff here. So once you're happy with the variation, the change you want to make, what you do is you go to traffic distribution and decide how much traffic you want to send out to the new version. So let's say I want to send it out 50-50, okay, and I'll save it. So now both of these will get a 50-50 traffic distribution. Once you're ready with the A-B testing, the changes you made and the variations, you have done traffic distribution, you just click on start and your A-B testing will start. Once this is started, you can get a unique link for this A-B testing uh, right over here, right on the top, or, you know, as people go through the funnel, they'll just uh, get a link uh, for the basic step. They don't know that there are two variations. People are going to get only one single variation for that particular person. So each person will just get to view one variation. 
So to test, you can copy this link, open a new incognito window, and paste it a couple of times to see when different variations come. So let's try that. So I'll just open a new incognito window, and let's say I'm gonna go to that link. And first it came sound supremacy at your hands. Now let's try the link again in another incognito window. And you can see now the second version came along. I'm gonna try one more time. There you go. And let's say this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an action. I'm just gonna click on purchase now and go to the second step, all right? I'm gonna tell you why I did that. If I close this, so now I've just tried it in the incognito three times, two times I've viewed the first page, one time I've viewed the second page, but I've also edited this uh, and you know viewed this a few more times, so those will be counted in the stats as well. Now if I go to the stats, you can see it shows that I've visited the first landing page two times and I have converted 50% of the time because you know that time I clicked on the button one time and for the second variant, I have visited three times. So I had three visitations and I didn't convert a single time. So this allows me to decide which page works better. So you might be asking that, hey, you, you're the admin. Why did this track your analytics? If you want to disable tracking of analytics for admin, you need to go to WP Funnel settings and then disable it from there, okay? I haven't done that here, so now it's tracking my analytics as well. But uh, to do that, it's pretty simple. Let's go to settings. Uh, and here, if you go to role management, you can disable analytics for administrator. So at that time, when you visit the pages, it will not count in the stats. Uh, but in this case, I didn't do that. That's why it counted the stats. But anyhow, when you launch it for your customers, they're not admins. They're, you're gonna get this unique details over here and you can judge which one is doing better. Based on that, you can declare a winner and you can choose to archive all the other versions uh, for this and the A-B testing will stop, or uh, you could have just stopped it from the button on the top and it would have stopped. It's not necessary to declare a winner every time, but you can if you want to, which is the best practice. If you don't declare a winner, how do you know which one you're keeping, which one you're not? Because uh, normally when you do A-B testing, what you do is you test it for a week and decide, okay, this is the one working better, I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna stop using the other one. And now you're gonna distribute 100% traffic to everybody, to the better one, right? So other than just changing some uh, things on the design, you can make different types of debit testing, such as, you know, you can also make variations of the checkout with different offers. So let's say in this checkout, I have just this product, right? What I wanna do is I'm gonna create a duplicate. And in the second variant, I'm gonna assign a specific discount. So I wanna see that will this uh, work better on a discount or will this work better without a discount? So you can see that in this second one, they're gonna get it at 1440. So I'm just gonna see that does the discount really help to trigger more sales? So that's something you can do over here. You can do the same in the upsell or the downsell. You can try completely different designs, completely different uh, approach. It's totally up to you. You can run A-B testing any way you want, having split tests for each and every page in your funnel. All right, so that's how easy it is to use A-B testing in WB Funnels. Uh, if you're a marketer or if you're trying to create a funnel that converts more, then this is a feature that you must use. And in WordPress, I'm sure uh, there is very less other tools that offers A-B testing, but I'm confident that this is uh, one of the best you'll get out there. All right, so I suggest you try this out. So that's it. That's how easy it is to use A-B testing in WB Funnels. And you just saw that it's super optimized, super simple to use. You can try any variations, any type of changes and test it out among your uh, visitors and find out what works best and decide to use that instead of what you're using now. Or maybe what you're using now is better. Who knows, right? So go ahead and start using the A-B testing feature of WB Funnels. I'm sure this will help you elevate your overall funnel performance and boost your revenue. Take care.